Coming up on an all new high school quiz show, it's the wild card match between the homeschoolers and Wakefield Memorial High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. People take a lot of selfies, even after a fender bender. With Safety's quick estimate program, you can use the self-service process to get an appraisal, helping your car to be repaired. You can ask an independent agent about Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by Eastern Bank. We are safer. We are more empowered. Somos más diversos. When we join together. Since 1999, Eastern Bank has given over $140 million, helping 1,500 organizations every year. So join us for good. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 12th season of a high school quiz show. I'm Billy Costa, your host, and I think we can all agree that it's been, well, quite a year since we were all here together. And although we've had to make some changes, we are back and better than ever. In fact, back in January, teams from all over Massachusetts competed at our first ever virtual Super Sunday qualifying event. And 17 of those teams earned a spot in this year's competition. The goal now is to become the next high school quiz show champion. And in today's match, direct from the comfort of their own homes, we have the first homeschool team in the history of high school quiz show uh, taking on Wakefield Memorial High School. And on the homeschoolers, we have William. Mateo, Tim, and Pierce with alternate Nadia and coach Chris Houston. And competing for the Wakefield team, we have Alex, Anthony, Amelia, and Nora with alternate Peter and coach John Hanron. The competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, a category round, and a lightning round. Players have each been provided with a game interface to enable them to play from home. We'll start with an all-new toss-up round. All players on both teams are active and, with a correct answer, can each contribute 10 points per question to their team score. There are no point deductions for wrong answers in this round. A green light indicates a correct answer, a red light an incorrect answer, a gray light means no answer has been provided within the three seconds granted. So teams, if you guys are ready, I am as well, let's do it. Who made history in 2020 as the first woman and the first woman of color to be elected vice president of the United States? Susan Rice, Kamala Harris, or Stacey Abrams? Kamala Harris is the answer. Which author is the first person to ever make a billion dollars from writing books? James Patterson, Agatha Christie, J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling is the correct answer. A worldwide protest movement against racial inequality was sparked after George Floyd was killed by a police officer in May of 2020 in what U.S. city? New York, Minneapolis, or Baltimore? Minneapolis is the correct answer. Take a look at your screens. Pictured here is the Great Wave, a famous image by the Japanese artist Hokusai. It's from his series of 36 views of what mountain, the tallest in Japan? Mount Yeri, Mount Kita, or Mount Fuji? Mount Fuji is the correct answer. What's the only U.S. state where more students attend private colleges than public ones? Massachusetts, Connecticut, or New York? Massachusetts, the correct answer. In 2020, what former Disney star became the youngest woman to win an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama for Euphoria? 
Was it Zendaya, Hilary Duff, or Selena Gomez? Zendaya is the correct answer. After a bitter dispute over whether Sydney or Melbourne should be the capital of Australia, a compromise was reached to build what new capital between the two cities? Perth, Canberra, or Adelaide? Canberra is the answer. In June of 2020, uh, driver Bubba Wallace successfully pushed what organization to ban the Confederate flag from its sports car racing venues? IndyCar, NASCAR, or Formula One? NASCAR, the answer there. Take a look at your screens. Here comes your next question. Hi, I'm actress and director Elizabeth Banks, and here is my question. In the FX miniseries, Mrs. America, I play Jill Ruckelshaus, a socially progressive Republican who worked in the Ford administration. Kate Blanchett plays conservative activist Phyllis Schlafly, who led the fight against which of the following? Is it A, the Brady Bill, B, the Voting Rights Act, C, the Equal Rights Amendment? C, the Equal Rights Amendment, the right answer. Which letter of the Greek alphabet is used to represent a change in quantity in math and science? Alpha, sigma, or delta? Delta is the answer. The novel The Lord of the Flies, Fahrenheit 451, and Invisible Man were all first published in what decade? 1940s, 1950s, or 1960s? 1950s, the bright answer, and there is the bell that ends the toss-up round. The score right now, the homeschoolers, 290 points, Wakefield Memorial High School, 360 points. Let's hear it for both teams, everybody. Okay, so the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a couple of minutes. We're going to chill out for a couple of minutes and uh, get to know the players. I've got a question. Each of you will have a chance uh, to answer. That's the way it works. So let's pretend we're all together in a room and we're just chit-chatting. Here comes the question. Which social media platform best fits your personality and why? And we'll start with the homeschoolers and you, William. Uh, I'd have to go with the railroad.net form because I like railroads and public transportation. And I also haven't adopted a lot of the, or as many of the new technologies that have come out since about 2005, but I still do what I need to and get the job done. Boy, were you prepared for that. Uh, Mateo, how about you? Um, I'll say Reddit is probably my best social media platform for me because there's a lot of uh, unique subreddits that cater to individual tastes, such as computers. And boy, we need them more than ever, don't we, with the media platforms? Look where you guys are now. Tim, how about you? Well, uh, I'm not generally a fan of social media, but I got to say uh, Facebook. So I got a great face and I love books. <laughs> Pierce, you? I went with uh, something similarly cheeky. I love Twitter because I'm blue and I don't have a lot to say. All right. Over to Wakefield. Alex, you look ready. What is it for you? I'd have to go with Reddit as well, but because I have a lot of friend groups that I'll talk about completely unrelated topics with, and sometimes I'll enter a conversation, leave a comment, and then just leave and never come back. <laughs> Anthony? Uh, it's not really a conventional social media platform, but I would go with Spotify just because I love music and whenever I need to feel motivated, I just love to listen to music. Whenever I'm doing some specific type of work, I know the exact music I want to listen to. So Spotify is always right there for me. Totally agree. This is a good mix. How about you, Amelia? Uh, I'd have to go with Discord because I really enjoy being social and Discord allows you to be social with people from all over the world. All right. And Nora, you're last. Um, I guess I'd go with YouTube because they just have like a really large amount of videos just about like a bunch of different like niche topics. And it's amazing how many people have been discovered on YouTube. A lot of creative stuff there. Okay, here's the deal. It's time to go head to head. So homeschoolers, Wakefield Memorial High School, let's go head to head. Okay, it is time, in fact, for head-to-head, -head. and in this round, correct answers add 10 points to the team total. However, incorrect answers now result 
in a 10-point deduction if a player does not provide an answer in the three seconds granted. Uh, there is no impact on the score. So if everybody's ready, let's go head to head. In the United States, which animal is used as the symbol of the Democratic Party? Is it donkey or elephant? Donkey is the correct answer. In 2020, quarterback Tom Brady left the New England Patriots. For what team? Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jacksonville Jaguars. Tampa Bay Buccaneers. They actually won the Super Bowl. Uh, silk production originated more than 6,000 years ago in what country? Was it China or India? China is the answer. On December 20th, 1860, what became the first state to secede from the Union, Georgia or South Carolina? South Carolina, the answer. In Homer's Odyssey, who never loses faith in her husband despite pressure from suitors to remarry? Is it Circe or Penelope? Penelope is the right answer. What type of diabetes was once known as insulin-dependent or juvenile diabetes? Was it type 1 or type 2? Type 1, the answer. What fashion and music mogul infamously grabbed the mic from Taylor Swift at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards? Jay-Z or Kanye West? Kanye West, the answer. Mount Everest lies on the border of Tibet and which of the following, Nepal or Bangladesh? Nepal. All right, so that's the bell that ends the round. Let's take a look at the score right now. Homeschoolers have 340 points. Wakefield's high, 420 points. Let's hear it for this fabulous round of Head to Head, everybody. Okay, next up is the category round with the following categories. Naughty or nice, that's all she wrote. The Buckeye State, MK, Don't Call Me Shirley, and Aaron Burr, sir. Each category has five questions with increasing point values. In this year's competition, once a team selects a category, they can answer all five questions with the option to toss one question per category to the other team. A tossed question must be answered, and in this specific case, a no answer is the same as a wrong answer. Each team will complete two full categories. They can confer and will have 10 seconds to answer each question. A spokesperson provides that final answer. And uh, homeschoolers, uh, who's going to be your spokesperson for this round? I think I am. All right. William is the designated spokesperson. How about you, Wakefield? That would be me. All right, Alex will be the spokesperson there. So if we're ready, uh, we will start homeschoolers. So you have a little ground to make up. The good news is you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be, homeschoolers? Uh, what do you guys think? Yeah, nice is a type of rock. Um, right. So I'm tempted to uh, go with the Buckeye State. I could not help there, but. Let's go with naughty or nice. Naughty. Or nice. Here we go. Questions about rocks and minerals. And for 10 points, uh, the Mo scale ranks the hardness of minerals from 1 to 10. What mineral is listed as the hardest at number 10? I think it's going to be diamond. Is everyone on my team? Yep. All right. Let's yeah. go with diamond. Is that a final answer, William? Yep. Uh, diamond is the correct answer. And now for 15 points. Uh, nice and marble are examples of what type of rock that's been changed from its original form by immense heat and pressure? Uh, that's metamorphic, I think. Yeah. Well, yep. Yep. yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, final answer is metamorphic. And that final answer is correct. And now for 20 points. According to Pliny the Elder, the word salary comes from what mineral that was once so valuable that Roman soldiers were often paid with it? Salt. Uh, so salt, right. yeah. Final answer, William? Final answer is salt. Salt is correct. And now for 25 points. Also known as CaCO3, what mineral is the main component of chalk and other limestone rocks? 
calcium uh, carbonate. Isn't, yeah. Uh, final answer is calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is the answer. And now for 30 points, uh, minerals can be classified by physical properties such as color, transparency, hardness, and streak. What additional property is synonymous with shine? Um, luster, should toss it. Luster, yeah, I think that's right. Uh, I'd say final answer, luster. And that final answer is correct, a luster. And now we go to Wakefield Memorial High School, and guys, you'll need to choose a category. Mia, you uh, want to do sure. Aaron Burr? Sure. Yeah. Category, Alex? Aaron Burr, sir. Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr, sir. Sir, we've got it. And uh, these are questions about things you learned from the musical Hamilton or from your U.S. history class. And... For 10 points, described in the musical as the Lancelot of the Revolutionary Set, what French aristocrat led approximately 4,500 American troops at the Battle of Yorktown in 1781? I believe that's... Lafayette. Yeah, Marquis de Lafayette. The Marquis Lafayette. Final answer, Alex? Final answer, the Lafayette. Okay, that's correct. Now for 15 points. Uh, during the song, The Schuyler Sisters, Angelica says she's been reading what pamphlet by Thomas Paine advocating American independence from Britain? Common sense. Common sense. And Final answer, common sense. And that answer is correct. Now for 20 points, an influential mentor to Hamilton, what Irish-born Taylor saved the life of George Washington twice while working as a spy against the British. Hercules Mulligan. Final answer, Hercules Mulligan. And that is correct. Now for 25 points on July 11th, 1804, Aaron Burr fatally shot Alexander Hamilton in a duel in Weehawken in what U.S. state? New Jersey. Final answer, New Jersey. And that is correct. And now 30 points up for grab. Uh, Hamilton has a diverse cast, but only one black character. What slave and mistress to Thomas Jefferson is briefly mentioned when Jefferson asks her to be a lamb and open a letter he's received from George Washington? It had to be Sally, Sally Hemings, Hemings, right? Final answer, Sally Hemings. And that final answer is correct. Now we go back to the homeschoolers. You'll need a category, guys. Uh, what category do you guys want to do? I don't know. Uh, uh, up to you. Pick, pick one quickly. Yeah. All right. The Buckeye State. Okay, the Buckeye State. Uh, questions about the great state of Ohio. For 10 points, approximately 50% of the U.S. population lives within a 500-mile radius of what capital city of Ohio? Columbus. Columbus. All right, final answer, Columbus. And that is correct. Now for 15 points in 2018, what NBA superstar from Akron left the Cleveland Cavaliers to sign with the Los Angeles Lakers? LeBron James. Final answer? Uh, LeBron James. And that is correct. LeBron James. For 20 points, uh, what Ohio River was once so polluted it caught on fire at least 13 times, helping to spur the American environmental movement? That's the Cuyahoga. Is anyone? All right. Final answer, Cuyahoga. And uh, that is correct. And now for 25 points, what liberal arts school in Ohio was the first college to officially accept not only women as well as men, but also uh, black students as well as white? Do any of you? I don't know. Um, I'll toss it, I guess. I'm sorry? All right. We'll toss it. All right. Well, they say they'll toss it. So Wakefield, uh, this is yours. Do you have an answer? All right, guys, I know one school in Ohio, and it's Oberlin. Does anyone have an argument? That's a, I was about to say that, Oberlin, yep. All right, final answer, Oberlin. Oberlin is correct for 25 points. And now for 30 points, back to you, homeschoolers. Uh, what 1994 Stephen King film uh, adaptation starring Tim Robbins and Morgan Freeman was shot at the Ohio State Reformatory in Mansfield? Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, yeah Shawshank, Shawshank Redemption. Redemption. All right, final answer, Shawshank Redemption. And that final answer is correct, the Shawshank Redemption. And back to Wakefield Memorial High School we go. You'll need a category, team. You, want to do, you guys want to do That's All She Wrote? Yeah, sure. I'll go for that. All right. That's All She Wrote. And here we go, questions about women authors for 10 points. 
Uh, what haunting love story of Heathcliff and Catherine was published just one year before the death of its author, Emily Bronte? Wuthering Heights. Mm -hmm. Wuthering Heights. Final answer, Alex? Yep. Wuthering Heights is correct for 15 points. What author of The Handmaid's Tale has often said her story isn't science fiction because everything that happens in it has really happened at some time in some society? I have to Margaret Atwood. Atwood. Margaret Atwood, final answer. And that is correct, Margaret Atwood. Now for 20 points. Uh, you can destroy wood and brick, but you can't destroy a movement. This quote is from what Angie Thomas novel about a teen who becomes an activist after her friend is killed by a police officer. The hate you give. Final answer, The Hate You Give. And that is correct for 20 points. Now 25 points at stake. What author of A Wrinkle in Time often compared her young heroine Meg Murray to her childhood self, gangly, awkward, and a poor student? It's Madeline Langle. Lang yeah. right. Madeline Final answer, yeah. Madeline Langle. And that is correct, Madeline Langle. Now for 30 points. What prominent member of the Harlem Renaissance is best remembered for her 1937 novel, Their Eyes Were Watching God, one of the first major novels written by a black woman? And that's Zora Neale Hurston. You sure about that? Yeah, it's Zora Neale Hurston. Final answer, Zora Neale Hurston. And the final answer, Zora Neale Hurston is correct. And that's the end of the category round. The score right now, homeschoolers, 515 points. Wakefield Memorial High School, 645 points. So let's hear it, everybody. Okay, we are headed into the final round of play. It's the lightning round. All players on both teams are active and with a correct answer, can add 20 points to their team's total. An incorrect answer will cost 20 points. And the decision not to answer within the three seconds provided will not impact the score. There will be 10 questions. And teams, if you are ready, and I think you are, you look ready, here we go. With an area measuring less than half a square kilometer, what is the smallest country in the world? Is it San Marino or the Vatican? The Vatican is the answer. Venus has a very dense atmosphere made up almost entirely of what greenhouse gas, methane or carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide. Who wrote the 1953 play The Crucible, Arthur Miller or Edward Albee? Arthur Miller, name the only U.S. president who was born and raised in Missouri. Harry S. Truman, Rutherford B. Hayes. Harry S. Truman, Cubism first emerged in the early 20th century in what European capital city, Paris or Madrid? Paris, what is the largest blood vessel in the human body, the jugular vein or the aorta? The aorta. More than 50 languages, including Russian, are written using what alphabet? Cyrillic or Coptic? Cyrillic is the correct answer. In July 2020, what far-right president of Brazil tested positive for COVID-19? Uh, Dilma Rousseff or Zair Bolsonaro? Zair Bolsonaro. George Knightley is the romantic hero in what Jane Austen novel? Emma or Pride and Prejudice? Emma is the correct answer. In 1836, who led an army of Texans to defeat the Mexicans at the Battle of San Jacinto? Sam Houston or Davy Crockett? Sam Houston is the correct answer there. And that's the bell. The winning team this week is Wakefield Memorial High School, 905 points. The homeschoolers, 700. 95 points. Congratulations to both teams. That was a great round. First round of the season, in fact. Uh, and now Wakefield Memorial High School will advance to the next round where they'll play Lexington High School. Uh, there is another episode of High School Quiz Show coming up next. It is a qualifying match between Andover 
and North Quincy. And don't forget, you can always play a bonus round of High School Quiz Show on your Alexa or Google Home devices. Just ask your smart speaker to play High School Quiz Show. And we'll be right back. You can watch High School Quiz Show anytime on our YouTube channel. Follow us on Instagram for a look behind the scenes and quizzes that'll keep you thinking. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for more photos and video. And add some competition to your conversations by sending your friends High School Quiz Show gifts. Major funding for High School Quiz Show is provided by Safety Insurance. There's been a big increase in both home improvement projects and in home values, too. You can ask an independent agent about safety insurance and make sure your coverage is keeping up. Safety Insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Additional funding is provided by the Museum of Science. The Museum of Science. Trekking around the Arctic has never been easier. You can get lost in the mystery and find beauty in Arctic adventure, exploring with technology. On exhibit now, only at the Museum of Science. More at MOS.org. 